So in this video, I want to talk about something that I don't normally talk about, and that is Space Marines. If you watch my channel, you know I'm not really into Space Marines that much, but I thought it'd be best if I actually do a video dedicated to Space Marines, dedicated to my predictions on what I personally think the Space Marines are going to be getting throughout the entirety of the 10th edition game. So, well, the next three to four years worth of Space Marine releases. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. So I think it's best to start with the things that we actually do know at this point. We've all saw the 10th edition starter box now. We know we're getting a new Terminator Captain, Terminators, Librarian, the Flamers, the Veterans, the Dreadnought, right? It's all in there. I don't really need to go in and explain that all over again. The next things is like, what are we getting after that this is where the juicy stuff starts now i've spoken about this before apparently at the end of summer well not apparently it is actually happening at the end of summer september august we are going to be getting a new space marine codex it's probably maybe one of two space marine codexes of this edition maybe even three that's the way games workshop normally does it games workshop likes to milk space marine players at this point for those of you who are not really um aware but Anyway, the first one is coming out uh, at the end of this summer, and there is rumors already circulating potentially of what is going to be coming with that. I've spoken about this, that like one of those rumors is a Terminator Chaplin. When you look at the Terminator range now, there's so many bloody options uh, they can go into, like a new Terminator Apothecary, a new Terminator Chaplin, or have already had the Librarian, a Terminator Lieutenant, even a thing, you know, maybe a Terminator uh, Champion, uh, you know, Terminator Chaplain, like I mentioned, these all start to make sense now. So I can definitely see that rumor being true. Now, on top of that, this is where it really starts to miss the bit, and we really start after using our imagination. Now, if you look back at 9th edition, uh, what released with that codex was the Bunker, uh, the Mario Kart, um, Kart, whatever that thing was called, I forgot, the Technarine turret, the Chaplin on a bike, and I'm sure there's something else that I'm absolutely missing. But anyway, let's just say that those four things. So let's say we're going to get at least between two or three new models releasing with that one. If the Chaplin, um, uh, if the Chaplin Terminator uh, armor is one of them, yeah, that's cool. Maybe they'll do a Chaplin in Apothecary armor. That is another one. And if there's something that I would absolutely love to happen for Space Marines, like generic Space Marines at this point, is a brand new flyer. I've been saying this for so long now. I just want a cool, different looking fly yeah we've got the storm ravens the thunderhawks the stormbirds um i don't know i just want something really really cool something new imagined by the gw team something what well, well, i would argue that primaries are getting into but they've changed the rules now where depths to start is are just everyone and we can all get in each other's gear which of course is a great thing now before we get into the special chapters and potentially what they could get in 10th edition again i'm going to timestamp all this so if you just want to skip to it i actually just want to talk about terminator armor because i really do think that this is going to be a huge thing going forward now in 10th edition and i personally think that every character that has Terminator armor now in the current model lineup will be getting a new model. So let's start, of course, with Lysander. Lysander is probably the most famous Imperial Fist character at this point. To be fair, <laughs> I think he's the only Imperial Fist character um, at this point. We change chapter masters like every single codex edition we get because gw just love killing off our chapter masters but um he's the one who's always remained there yes we've got um targaden and stuff like that but you know he is like the main focus and a lot of people have always been asking like hey why hasn't he got an update is and if he did get an update is he going to go to gravis because he had terminator armor etc 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 but now we know that they've redone the terminator armor to a scale where you know, a Primaris Marine or a normal Firstborn Marine can get inside of it. So it makes sense now that even if they did 
give him a new model, he can still stay firstborn. He can even go to cross the Rubicon Primaris um, if he wants to. Not that it matters anymore because everyone's just an Adeptus Astartes now. We're no longer in the firstborn slash Primaris camp. So for characters like him, it really does make sense that we will be seeing new models for them in 10th edition. Adding to that, I'm trying to think of other um, other Terminator characters. You've got Belial, which we'll get onto with the Dark Angel stuff later on. Um, you've got the Chap and the Space Wolves who throws his hammer like Thor. I'm sorry, Space Wolves. I also get your name. And we've also got the... Is it the first company captain of the Ultramarines? But I'm sure they painted him up as the as the captain of the 10th edition box set. I'm sure they mentioned that. Uh, that's somewhere else basically what i'm trying to say if you've got terminator armor it's probably going to be a great thing for you going forward to see new characters in 10th edition so coming off the back of talk about terminators i think it's best to start with the chapter specific stuff and start with the faction which i really really hope get some type of refresh some new some new type of models um and that's the gray knights um how many times have we spoken about the gray knights on videos um on streams we we know the gray knights themselves just got a little mini update they got a brand new castle and crow model which again looks fantastic it looks amazing but when you put that castle and crow model now next to the gray knight range the scale looks just a little bit odd it looks a little bit off you know the model is fantastic the model is amazing and uh, most of the gray knight models i i still think are amazing like the terminator armor still holds up um this day but the problem is now with the new scale of terminator armor those terminators are gonna look very very small compared to the new terminator models so i'm hoping that games workshop actually does release a new terminator kit aimed at the Grey Knights, where, you know, you can get all, like, you know, the, the, their amazing shoulder pads, the, the halberds all upscaled, just looking way more cooler, way more better. I'm actually thinking, when did they introduce the Grey Knights? Was it 5th edition? I'm, I'm, please correct me if I'm wrong, but their models are out 15 to going maybe closer to 20 years old now again hold my hands up not too familiar with with the gray knight ranger when it released but i'm sure it came out around that fifth sixth edition um mark so hopefully we'll start seeing some stuff for the gray knights get implemented um and some hopefully new stuff as well for the gray knights to being given calls back calls got all this technology maybe you can give the demon hunters some new stuff to play around with and just before we move on from the gray knights if they don't do like you know new terminators as i just mentioned maybe some more characters caldo drago right Probably the most legendary character in 40... Well, one of the most legendary characters in 40k. You know, he's up there with Dante, with, like, the deeds that he's done. He basically won versus won um, a Primarch. He won versus won Mortarian and brought him down, carved his name on his heart. I know not a lot of people are not happy with that law, but it happened. You just kind of have to live with it. Um, and he's literally not been seen <laughs> since the Great Rift at all. This galaxy has been split in twain. Chaos is pouring out of it, and no one knows where Caldor Drago is. So come on, Games Workshop. I think it's time to reintroduce this legendary figure, give him some more activity during the dark times of Warmer 40,000. Well, to be fair, every time is a dark time, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Where is Caldor Drago? Space Wolf players, I'm sorry to say, I don't think this is going to be your addition. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully, everyone gets all the love that they deserve when it comes to Space Marines, but I just don't see it. I, I Like, I think 11th edition is going to be your edition. I think that is when, potentially, we could have Lehman Russ returning, and with that, the Space Wolves get that big, full range refresh happening, and you get all the new characters, you get all the new armor, all the new cool shoulder pads, pelts, howls to the moon, everything like that. Just for now, in 10th edition... I really don't see you getting anything. I'm sorry. I'm not nothing against you. I'm, you know, I do like Space Wolves in a way, um, but I just don't see anything happening uh, for you chaps this edition. Watch me be completely wrong now, and they get everything this edition. Moving on to the Blood Angels, and this actually does excite me because I have heard rumblings of the Blood Angels, so I'm really, really hoping that this edition they do get something big. Like, when it comes to range refreshes, maybe Games Workshop is probably only going to do, like, two in terms of space marines because let's face it there's a whole lot of other races out there in 4ak i know this is the video aimed just at space marines but we have to face the facts right there's other factions out there and they need love as well god damn it Barry, all you do is talk about space marines um so yeah maybe this will happen maybe not um as i said i have heard a few rumblings but nothing 
to build foundations on at this point. This is why I haven't done like a, a rumor video or anything like that. All we do know at this point is Dante just got an incredible new model. And I personally think it would be incredible, absolutely incredible, if that golden boy was joined by more Golden Boys. If we gave him, you know, new Sanguinary Guard, that would look fantastic. If we gave them um, characters that are also connected to the Blood Angels, like Gabriel Seth of the Flesh Terrors. He's a huge part of 40k lore. He's a huge part of Dante's arc and the Blood Angels and, you know, the, the Blood of Sanguinius, let's say. I'd love to see him get a new model. Again, I'm going to leave it to you guys for Firstborn or Primaris. I know Seth has certain viewpoints on that, but that range itself would be fantastic being remade because the Blood Angels have the best armor. They, you know, they, the Artistra and stuff like that, like they craft into it. So to see potentially Games Workshop going in and bringing that alive and giving them all this new jazzy stuff and just how incredible personally it could look on the battlefield, that really, really, really does get me excited for potential um, Blood Angel stuff. I do think it would be a range that a lot of people would buy into, a lot of new people would buy into just because how awesome it would look from other different space marine chapters out there because let's face it everyone else is kind of generic and bland and when you look at the blood angels um they really do stand out on the battlefield now moving on to the range refresh which i truly do think is going to be happening this uh, edition like this is like the big prediction is the dark angels i've heard so many things about the dark angels uh spring is the guaranteed release of the Dark Angels 2024. So we do really have a date potentially for this. And um, it does make sense if you look at it from the the bigger picture. They've just had the Lion uh, returned. I'm sure the Dark Angels are going to have a lot of lore given to them going forward in 10th edition. Uh, we have something called the Risen that have come in now. Um, characters like Belial um were like on death's door during the end of the arcs of omens book so potential for them to get new models Azrael's just got a new primaris model um so it really really does make sense for them to start receiving that big as i like to call it black templar upgrade treatment so everything that the black templars got during the last edition this is what i visualize now that the dark angels are going to be getting this edition you know a certain amount of new troops like when you think like sword brethren maybe like like something to do with the inner circle deathwing deathwing is something <laughs> i just did a video on the deathwing last week you know the foil the foil never lies i really do st i really think now at this point in time they are filming all the promotional images and everything like that to go forward to start teasing us showing off in trailers and how all that works um at games workshop um so yeah for me Dark Angels, 110%. I am I am putting all my chips on a Dark Angel range refresh coming in 10th edition. And going back to the rumors, I did hear Belial was one of those new characters um, being made. Again, which goes back to what I said at the start of the video about Terminators. Terminators, this new scale, it all makes sense for these Terminator characters, Terminator armor to get redone now with what's just happened with that new model. And quickly, right at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about Primark. Now I've got a video coming out dedicated to this itself about the Primarchs in Warmer 40,000 and the potential you know, future releases of the Primarchs and really what's happened with releasing Primarchs. If you look back from 8th edition, right? 8th edition was released in 2017. And this is what I mentioned in the video as well, is that ever since 2000, I think 17, 18, so that's like five years ago, technically there's been a Primark that's come back every single year. We've, we've had five, five Primarks come back. We got Magnus first, Gilliman, Mortarian, right? Then we got Angron, and now the Lion. That is, that is five Primarks for the five years. So it only makes sense for Games Workshop to follow that and start releasing more Primarchs um, this edition, or should I say 10th edition. Of course, the Xen the Xenos one, the Heretic one, I think, is going to be Fulgrim, and the Loyalist one, <laughs> it's kind of a balance at the moment. Uh, Lehman Russ, potentially. Um, Jagatai Khan, potentially. There's so many choices uh, to go down, but I definitely do think in 10th edition, another Loyalist Primark will return. Um, I'll leave that up to you to uh, judge in this video which Primark do you want to return again we'll explore that in the Primark video I release later um this week anyway thank you for coming 
thank you for watching um those are my little predictions big predictions little predictions anything like that um i will say we're probably going to get box sets by the way throughout the the year of um 10th edition like throughout the years just like we got like you know the brutalis the desolators in those box sets um i'm not really sure what other troops we can actually get now volkite troops maybe could be one of them we've had the flamer troops we've had rocket launchers now uh maybe grav gun troops maybe they'll do something like that just, i think we're running out of weapons is there any weapons that we have like weapon squads we haven't had for space marines which we need for space marines which would be really really cool for space marines um leave me your thoughts feedback everything like that down below as we normally do see ya have a great day and bye bye so i wanted to do something a little bit different on this channel for once and talk about space marines <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs>